Hi everyone, let's begin. In this video, we are going to perform simple linear regression using RStudio. So let me share my screen. And uh, this is the, I had written something here. Uh, one case study I have taken, simple linear regression. First of all, uh, what do you understand by simple linear regression? I had already explained you in my previous video and I definitely I'm going to share link in this video description box. Simple linear regression, regression analysis is commonly used for modeling the relationship between a single dependent variable and one or more predictors. When we have one predictor, we call this simple linear regression. And in this only one dependent variable, one independent variable, and uh, not more than one independent variable. That is why we are calling it simple linear regression. So today we will run the simple linear regression in our R studio. And uh, I had taken one example. Example is a student want to test a hypothesis regarding the relationship between size and age of a firm and its performance in a particular industry. Size was measured by the number of employees working in the firm. Age in terms of number of years it's operating and performance was measured by return on equity. 50 firms selected randomly. So you can see here I have taken firm ID, performance, size, and age. And uh, here is, you can see, I have taken 50 firms. I had uh, selected randomly, 50 firms at random I have taken. So this is my null hypothesis. I, I will take only one independent variable. That is only size. I'm not considering in this example, age. And you know, size we have taken in terms of the employees, right? What is the, whether this form is bigger and this form is small. On the, entirely on the basis of the employees. So now what we have to do, firm's performance is not positively related to size and age. So I am taking null hypothesis. Only one thing is that is size. And firm's performance is positively related to its size. We want to check this hypothesis. So simple linear regression model, there are the four assumptions. Those are associated with the linear regression model. So now you can see here, linear linearity, the relationship between X and the mean of Y is linear. And uh, homocidastry also, the variance of the residual is the same for any value of x. We will check through this uh, today's uh, uh, today's calculation. And independence observations are independent of each other. We will not check this autocorrelation part in this video. And that would definitely be going to discuss in the later video. And normality through QQ plot, we want to check normality of this x and y normally distributed. So let's begin. In this R studio at fresh, I'm going to start. So you can see here. Uh, first, we are going to import data from Excel, right? I want to import data. Here is I would like to browse, and this file is put it here in my download section and linear regression. And I would like to import this file. So this file is I had imported. You can see here form ID, performance, size, and H. So what should I do? First of all, I am going to create a variable here, right? Let's say again and again, I will not type this much as the bigger name. Simple, I had create. I'm I'm going to create one variable that is regression. Then I will put this in this regression variable, this linear underscore regression file. So what I have to do? I will write linear underscore regression, and I will press enter. So now you can see here. Here is the regression variable is created under this regression, 50 observations and four variables. You have seen, I have taken 50 forms data, 50 forms at random I have selected. So here is in the regression, 50 observations are here. Now, what I have to do, let me, here is I had a, in, the, in, the, in the script console, I had written all the, all the, all the statements are here. So one by one, we can run also, right? And uh, here is what I have to do. In this regression, I had put it this linear regression file. Now, 
what i have to do let's say i want performance right performance equal to i would like to put that variable in the performance that should also be reflected here performance so i would write regression regression right and here is i would write dollar sign i would write dollar sign and then this variable i will pick up performance and i will press enter now you can see this performance variable is here and same way i would like to size also so size again i will create a variable size and in this variable from the regression file again there is a dollar sign and this size is also be reflected here right now what i have to do now linear model lm stands for linear model right linear model so what i have to do i want to check with the performance and i will write tilt sign here performance depends on size right performance depends on size i want to check this so here is the error let me check whether i have used the okay fine this is the spelling you can see s i z w that is why it has not taken here so now either i have to correct here or i will correct there so simply i will press upward arrow i will press upward arrow so rather than size i will write because w right so now it will run error once again okay i have not removed e so now you can see here because r is very sensitive and now you can see here lm right formula i want to check whether performance depends on size so coefficients by intercept is 6.8673 and size is 0.160 right up now what i want i want to check right i will put all these uh, all this this information in about particular variable let's see a right so i would put this value and i will write lm right and i would write here here is what is this performance performance and tilt sign and uh, here is size size again i have to write w right otherwise it will not take it right so you can see here now a variable is created and this is the complete information lm that is put it here right so what i have i have to do let's say i want to see summary i want to see summary of a because all the variables are put it in this a variable so now this is the entire summary is here you can see here minimum right and median is minus 2.653 q 6.14 maximum 29 coefficients are here intercept is 6.86 standard error 2.30 t value 2.98 and p here is probability is 0.00451 and uh, here is this is the one of the predictor only one predictor i have taken that is size 0.160 right this is the standard error and t value and this and now you can see here f statistics this is the my value f statistics 6.397 degree of freedom here is 1 and 48 and p value is 0.014 that is less than 0.05 so what i have to do if i want this result complete result simply i have to copy these results and i will paste here in my word document or or wherever you want to show your these results so i had already copied these results here you can see here residuals right minimum median iq maximum coefficients each and everything i had and this is the basically interpretation how you have to interpret your results this is the adjusted r square right and this is your multiple i will if i will reduce this font size now that would be reflected only in one single row so you can see multiple r square right these are the results these results you have to report in your research paper or in your thesis so uh, now what i have to do what i have to do i had copied these results now what i want i want to plot curves right i want to plot curve right i want to plot curve so plot curve here is variable is a 
So simply I have to press enter, right? So now hit return to see next plot. So you have to enter. So this is my first plot, residual versus fitted, right? Residual versus fitted. And you can click here and now you can see here. So now I would like to show you this curve, right? Okay. This line should be parallel to this line, this red line. That means still it is deviations, right? And you can see in my data set, these are the outliers. 18, 18 is the outlier in my data set. So this is the one plot. And now, now the again, I have to press enter. This is my normal QQ plot, normal QQ plot. You can see here, there is also again a deviation because otherwise all the values should be on this line, right? So that is the, that means data is not normal. Some, somehow there is some outliers. So I, we should remove these outliers. And the next one is you can see scale location, fitted values. So this line should also be parallel to the x-axis, right? This line should be parallel to the octave x-axis but there is you can see here in my in my data set this line is not parallel to x-axis and this is the you can see here is 18 is a outlier then next plot is we want to see here is you, we can zoom this now you can see this plot and uh, in this plot uh, i would explain you that is we can call it residual versus leverage cook's distances so there is the both the side you can see in the both the side this is the cook's distances in this uh, region no value should fall otherwise we have to treat it this value as a we are going to treat this value as a uh we are saying this value as a norm not normal this is the uh because outliers is this and i should remove all these values from my uh from my data set so 0 18 you can see this is outlier this is this is nearby on this red line red line dotted line so this these are the outliers we should remove from our data set next we come to the let's say so simply what you have to do, uh, if you want all these curves, simply export it, copy to clipboard and you can paste in your, in your work file, right? Control, not say, sorry, control Z and I would press here, paste. Okay, fine. So this is the value is we had pasted here. Up now, I want rather than copy plot and then after that you can paste it there right up now i want all these four plots rather than they should be on a one single page so what i have to do i have to use command par i will use command p a r par then what i have to do i will write m pro m pro equal to c right and again open this bracket two by two right i will enter right and now what i have to do i want again plot right plot and where is all the calculations are put in a variable so now now you can see and i will zoom this uh right so now you can see all the four plots on a single one page then you can compare all these things and simply you can report all these plots right and just closing this Achha, if i would i would i would i would uh, i would export these uh just a moment i would clip to copy board so this would be like this because i don't want like this I want something else simply I will show you if I will copy these plots here you can see here so this would be like this but I don't want like this I want like this so how it is possible let's say again we will go back we will press zoom figures margins too large why figure margins are too large okay so I want I will simply click right click 
and copy image and after this copy image what i have to do i would uh, you can see here enter and uh, i want to i want to now press paste right on paste this so now all these four curves are here and now you can show all these curves on a single page so i'm sure uh, this video will be helpful to you you understand how a simple regression we can run in our studio as well as how we have to interpret how we can draw all the assumptions we can see how we can check all the assumptions and how we can draw the curves on a single page so i'm sure this video will be helpful thank you so much thanks a lot